week on The Young and the Restless, and quite a few characters were left reeling. Juliet leveled her lawsuit against Brash and Sassy, leaving Victoria with quite the conundrum. Kane was forced to make his confession to Lily, and while there were some obvious gaps, her suspicion only grew. Chloe was revealed to be alive, but her situation is about to get worse. Hear the spoilers. Nikki grows increasingly uncertain of Tessa's loyalty to her, and she contemplates an underhanded test. Other deceptions are in danger of being revealed when Kane gets trapped between two impossible choices. Jack maintains his own skepticism, but he's left stunned by what he hears from Dina. Powerful passion and harrowing horror will make next week a wild ride. While we wait to watch, here's some soap opera news that you may have missed. Fictional worlds often exist in their own realities, sometimes even abiding by their own scientific rules. Every so often, though, we'll see characters appearing in shows other than their own, and these crossovers often elicit incredibly strong reactions from viewers. Networks bill these occasions as being huge events, but how do the fans themselves really feel? Surprisingly, a recent survey revealed that 51% of viewers dislike this sort of storyline, citing a desire to keep their universes separate. On the other hand, 48% feel that blurring the lines makes things more interesting and even opens the door to developments that would be otherwise impossible. Finally, a very small 1% were of the opinion that the plots themselves were more important than the included characters, suggesting that a well-written crossover could be enjoyable. But that many of them are best avoided. Either way, whether you love them or hate them, we can all agree that soap opera crossovers present unique opportunities, even if we aren't always happy about them. Okay folks, the moment is finally here. It's time for our weekly drawing. Every Friday we choose a random name from the pool of people who have shared and commented on our videos and we send that person an awesome prize. Today's lucky winner is Nicole Parker. Congratulations Nicole! We will get your official t-shirt sent right out. For everyone else, don't worry, you can still win next week. Just leave a comment on this video, then share it on Facebook. Tune in on Friday to see if we pick your name. Wait, don't leave yet! Would you like to win $500? We'll be giving it away next Friday and entering couldn't be easier. Just visit SoapHub.com backslash giveaways backslash YR, then fill in your email address. And to double your chances of getting picked, share this video with your friends on Facebook. Good luck everyone! That's all for now everyone. Remember though, there's more soap opera content waiting for you in our free newsletter. Members get access to exclusive spoilers, behind the scenes stories, and special offers that aren't available anywhere else. Thanks for watching fans, I'm Tiffany Hegebo, and I'll see you again soon.